Hello, Mr. Strawberry. Are you ready for your facial? Ooh, it looks like a beard transplant. Well, he always wanted to be one of those cool shaven cans. When it comes to peas, you don't need a whole pod. You can have tons of fun with just one. Hey, that rhymes. But what's really fun to play with is a balloon. Blow it up. You know, we can use it to make a pea pod too. Let's start out by making three. Now tape them together. For extra fun, let's draw some faces on them. Hey, my faces are still faces. Now give it a good squeeze. All the cats are coming out for this. What a pretty dolly. Let's give her a haircut. I was thinking a pixie cut, but bald is beautiful. Now let's trim some whiskers. Wait, hold on. We can whip you up a new weave. Be careful, you might feel a slight pinch. Ooh, who says blondes have more fun? Sometimes you just gotta think pink. Mm, cherry flavored. A plastic cup with nothing inside. What a waste of a good cup. So let's have some fun. Draw something on it. It's a tiny pair of shades. And look, they come in your size. Who says hole punches can only come hole shaped? Especially when you can get the gold star, among other prizes. Let's see how he looks with a few beauty marks. But why not save some for yourself, too? Enjoy your cat nap? Surprise! We've never looked better. And cats already look good, thanks to all that beauty sleep. As every cat knows, it's kind of hard to top a ball of yarn. But we're always up for a challenge. Let's add it inside a balloon. What else? Ooh, glitter. And some clear glue. Ooh, it's nice and squishy. What else can we try? Ooh, ice cream. It's got a nice smile, but let's give it a bigger mouth. Oh, it's nice and hollow. So let's squeeze our squishy ball inside. When it's ready, give it a good squeeze. Just because that one cat wore a hat doesn't mean they all do. All cats have their own sense of style. Some prefer to sparkle and shine. And also wear wigs. And don't you worry, there's plenty of sparkle to go around. Oh no! Cola is a terrible thing to waste! Careful, you don't want any sticky paws. Don't worry, just blow up a balloon. And deflate it into a brand new glove. You could just lap it up, but cats prefer milk. Hmm, you sure that bowl's big enough? Then again, you can't beat drinking straight from the source. We might not have the whole cow, so we'll settle for the others. Bubbles are so fleeting, so let's make a bunch. Here's an idea. Take a bottle and a straw. 
No, we're not blowing bubbles in chocolate milk. Ooh. Especially since we're cutting them up. Place pieces of straw inside the bottle top. Use a rubber band to attach it to an electric fan. Now just give it a dip in some bubble solution. Time to turn on your DIY bubble machine. Ah, the artist at work. Let's add some red, yellow, blue. It's SpongeBob. I knew that cat had good taste. Time for Sponge to meet Squeegee. Gotta love that underwater work. Our little archaeologist is hard at work searching for treasure. Just add a little water, not too much. Now time to air dry. Time for some elbow grease. I think cats have elbows, right? A running mouse? Let's see if it lives up to its name. Oh, look at it go. No wonder it's so much fun chasing him. I'm starting to understand where the term cat burglar came from. Just what is our furry little friend up to? Ooh, a balloon. I guess he likes it on the frosty side. It's like a pinata. Just scratch it open and collect your prizes. Congratulations! Careful, you might chip a tooth. Oh, now where's that blow dryer? Oh, even better, a hammer. It's time for a little smashing. Make that a lot of smashing. Careful, you don't want to break your stuff. What a good idea. We've still got ice left over. After all, I am feeling a little parched. Time to do a little gardening. Look at that cucumber. Let's clean it up. Keep it lined up. We're gonna start slicing. Or would you prefer to pickle it first? We're only cutting partway through for now. Flip it over so we can cut the bottom half. Why not? Keeps the board scratch free. Careful, we're not cutting all the way through, you know. Because it's much more fun to make a spiral. Hey, squash can come in spaghetti. And why should squash have all the fun? cat -erific stuff. Catch you next time. Once upon a time, there were two puppies. They were a modern-day prince and pauper. Hey, what's that? You found more gold. Quick, follow that money trail. Well, it's golden, but I wouldn't touch it if I were you. Luckily, here's just the thing to keep your paws clean. Do what dogs do best. Start digging. When you're done, they come right off. But if you don't have any booties lying around, cut up a rubber glove. Let's try it out. Go on, get down and dirty. Now let's look at those paws. Either way, those paws are safe. Okay, we need to rethink this fence situation. This new collar will help keep you safe. And look on the bright side. 
At least it's not a cone. Hmm, what else can help? How about a long bone or stick? Just make sure it sticks out on the sides. Wow, finger painting without the fingers. Mm -mm. But we should probably clean those paws. Just add water and give it a good scrubbing. Squeaky clean. Ooh, patty cake. Seems like good clean fun. Ugh, spoke too soon. We need hand sanitizer stat. As for that popper, we can make our own paw cleaner. Just need a scrubbing pad, a cup, and water. Much better. But there's three more to go. And we're done. Remember, patty cake at your own risk. Oh, looks like someone's about to go on a trip. Make sure to tuck that belt in nice and tight. And away we go. Him to the park, sir. Now sit back and unwind. Hmm, you're the perfect fit inside this bag. A few cuts. And it's a custom-made carrier. What you waiting for? Sooner you leave, the sooner you share your pup with the world. I'm starting to see how they got so rich. Either way, it's time to get scooping. Just wrap a bag around it first. Let's just keep one jewel. Uh, service fee and all. And the job is practically finished. Uh-oh, I don't think he can wait. Don't worry, we can make our own scoop. We just need an old plastic container. Isn't recycling just grand? Some dogs like their kibble shaken, not stirred. Of course, food is all in the presentation. This toy is the dog version of a tiny bit of parsley. Although it's also a lot more fun. It's a game that ends in a treat. And now it's time for round two. Just give it a good push and jackpot! We're in the kibble! Of course, some dogs are fine with a little silver bowl. But deep down, don't all dogs just want to have fun? Try adding kibble to a towel in a pattern. Roll it up for a mini scavenger hunt. Come on, put that snout to good use. Remember, no treat left behind. An ID tag is very important for puppies. Sure comes in handy when they get lost. You'll never know when you'll need it. I mean, Scooby-Doo still can't find that nephew of his. See? This pup's already home sweet home. And ID tags don't have to be fancy. Make it out of old plastic. You just need to be able to read it. Still, maybe we can shrink it down to size. Add to your pup. And remember, Toto, there's no place like home. Dogs sometimes need to unwind with a little scalp massage. 
what? Being cute and adorable 24-7 isn't easy. If you don't have the special machine, look no further than your own kitchen. Just take an old whisk and cut it up at the end. Add a little hot glue to give it a tender touch. Let it dry and give that canine cranium a good rub down. With all that fur, it's about time we get to brushing it. And look, this brush makes cleanup a breeze. Still, let's not waste such nice soft fur. So hard to get things in Kissy's size. Ah, our spring cleaning's almost done. Oh, I just had to jinx it. Look at all that hair. We can work harder, or better yet, smarter. Add hot glue drops to a rubber glove. Draw some squiggle lines on the palm. Now you can collect hair right from your puppy. Before it ends up all over your stuff. Are you thirsty, boy? We can fix that. We've got our very own water dispenser. Here, why don't you wet your whistle? Huh, this plastic bottle isn't really for you. But it can be. Decorate the bottom with hot glue. Pull off, and it's a brand new puppy bowl. Hmm. Who says that laser toys are just for cats? You don't need nine lives to catch mice. Mice are fun and all, but let's try something else. Draw something you know your dog will like, using this transparent material. Now let's shine a little light on the situation. Game on! Here's one of the most important parts of pet care, costumes. Otherwise, Halloween's just the end of October. Ooh, this look just needs one thing. Perfect. Even old clothes can become pet outfits. Want to try this on? No? Yes? I guess not. How about something a little more snugly? Yeah, that's a yes. Let's try it on. Throw on some pants while you're at it. And a hat under the hood? <laughs> Why not? Yes. Any old clothes can look good on a puppy. Some candles will help set the mood for our new puppy massage. Just roll this tool around your dog's face. And maybe that back while we're at it. He's not the only one in need of a massage. But you know, blocks were made for building. Like this puppy back scratcher. Scratch his back and he'll scratch yours. pop -erific stuff. Catch you next time. Come on, the camera loves you. You own that catwalk. Though, maybe I shouldn't have used the word catwalk. Want your pup to be a fashion star? Start with boots. Let's try these first. Aren't they cute? Perfect fit. Just remember, we need four in all. It's not like your pup can resist all those puddles. 
Now let's try the balloon. Deflate it a little. That was quick. Now place on your puffer. And it still protects their paws from all that dirt. Either way, it's cheaper than a doggy treadmill. Of course, while dogs appreciate a good walk, they sometimes prefer to just ride along. Especially when you do the skating for them. Hey, look, Ma! No paws! But if you don't have a special bag, we can try out an old tote bag. Cut out some paw holes. Plop your puppy right inside and go for a spin. Just be careful if you've got a great dame. Time for gadgets for your dog's more private moments. This one's pretty big. And look, it gets bigger. And bags are included. Just take one and wrap it around. Well, we might as well try it out. Give it a sec and test it out. That was easy. Oh, guess I spoke too soon. What are you feeding him? Let's just hope we don't run out of bags. Now let's try the hair clip. Hope you don't use it. Either way, we're covering it up. Hey, it works. And good thing the trash bin's right here. Well, that was fun. But now here's something for the cats. Look at that cat brush. And those bristles. And while we've got a cat here, why not try it out? Look at all that hair. Well, now it's a toupee. Up next, we're gonna try a foot. Oh, I guess just the sock. Add onto a brush. Just make sure all those bristles poke through. <laughs> Groomed twice in one day? Huh, this cat knows how to live. Pull off the sock and the mess is gone. Pets don't do that whole don't play with your food thing. Take this toy garden. Bury some treats. Plop in some carrots. Sort of reverse gardening, you know? Like, come on, Scoob! Put that snout to work! After all, what dog doesn't like to dig? Eh, carrots are really more of a rabbit thing. Take a TP roll, cover the bottom. Put a string through it and add a few more. Fill up with treats and give to your dog. The trick is to spin them around. It gets them on the floor, but not for long. Dogs gotta keep up their tongue exercises. Wow, look at all those suction cups. Stick it up and spread on something yummy for your pooch. While they're not looking, it's grooming time. Here's our backup plan. Take some plastic wrap. Wrap around your head and add the food. Now you and your dog can have some quality time. So why not squeeze in a manicure? Can't neglect your pet's dental care. And just in time, let's start with a brush. Now let's use the glove, but it could use some help. 
You just can't beat a good bristle. Add some doggy safe toothpaste. Now when you brush, really get in there. Ah, cats just seem to get the best toys. <laughs> just add a plume on top of this toy. Now, let your cat take it for a spin. So many ways you can play with it. This kitty's gonna sleep well tonight. But why not make a toy? Hey, watch out! Look, a feather. <laughs> this could come in handy. Just tape it to the end of your shoe. Why not both slippers while you're at it? Now you and your cat can play together. Throw in some catnip, and this is kitty luxury. Now for a puppy bumper. Start with the donut. After all, who doesn't love donuts? Open up and stick your pup inside. Now that fence is nothing to worry about. Now try a spoon. Just add to a harness. Like a cone of shame, but without the shame. Pets sometimes need a little space. You know, a little alone time. <laughs> this cute little tent is just the thing. Of course, there's some owner assembly required. Come on, kitty, there's plenty of room inside. No wonder female cats are called queens. Let's see what we can make out of these old jeans. Plenty of leg room, but let's add some stuffing. Now fold it up into a makeshift lap. And it's your cat's rightful throne. It's time for some interactive dog toys. This bone's got some teeth. Add kibble. Let's hope its bark is worse than its bite. Now for the ultimate test. The bone or the chicken? Uh-huh, dogs and bones just go together. If you don't have one, just take a towel. Add some kibble in a pattern and fold it up. Nothing can hide from a dog's trusty sniffer. Unroll the pink carpet. It's snack time. Puppies are cute, but they usually don't come housebroken. <laughs> Devices like this should help. Just add a sheet. And your dog enjoys their own patch of lawn. But maybe a nice plastic bin is all you need. Just fill it up with some sand. Maybe some rocks and wood shavings too. Now roll out a patch of artificial grass. Stick it in a corner and let your puppy enjoy needing to go. Cats just love a good light show. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Fire the laser! If only the laser wasn't so hard to catch. Just like one of those cartoon mice. But maybe all we need is a hard hat. With a laser pen taped onto the front. 
shake your head, just don't get dizzy. I mean, you could just use the laser pen by hand, but come on, <laughs> where's the fun in that? Because selfies aren't just for people. Seriously, social media is 99% pet photos. For this device, clip on a snack and a phone. Come on, time to get ready for your close-up. Let's send these headshots to Paw Patrol. This frame might help too. Smear it with food. Once again, the food will catch your dog's attention. Zoom in, unless you want the food in the photo. Of course, it's hard to take a bad photo with such a cute model. Pet amazing stuff. Catch you next time.